Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to uh, start off my inaugural uh, video with something that uh, I have trouble with. And basically, the way that Music Tech Zone is going to work is if I see a question that has not been answered at all on YouTube or uh, a question that has not been sufficiently answered on YouTube, I want to try to answer it to the best of my ability. Um, and this is centered on, as you can well guess, on musicians using technology. Because there's a lot of techies out there, but there aren't a lot of techies who are musicians or musicians who are techies. And I've been blessed to be able to do both things with a 10-year background in technology and a 20-year background in music. So um, let's get right to it. So I'm using my MacBook here, and one of the biggest problems that I was noticing when I use uh, Melodyne on uh, any DAW, but basically the DAW that I'm using right now is uh, Ableton Live, as you can see really well, is when I am using the Melodyne and I'm playing back my song, it still, uh, I'm trying to do a fade out, it, it'll still play full at full power or at full volume, I'm sorry, at full volume at the end of my song. Here's an example. Um, let's go back to the beginning here. So uh, if you're not familiar on how to do a fade out on, uh, on Ableton Live, it's really simple. You will normally have either none or mixer here, track volume for uh, on, your set, on your setup here. Okay. So on your track name, under your track name, and your fader device chooser and things like that, you'll only see uh, mixer and track volume. So basically, you just go here to one of the uh, pull-down menus, and you go simply to fades. And when you go to fades, you can fade out what you need. But this is what happens. OK, so here's what I have so far. Secret we pledge our lives together. Okay, so now we have this. And I want this to fade out. Okay, so basically I'm going to track this down here on my fades. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and play it again. We pledge our lives together. Now, as you can see, what's going on here? The um, the piano is, you know, has finished playing. As a matter of fact, let me solo that, and I'm gonna put this on um, same thing. I'm gonna use a fade. I'm gonna play it regular. Okay, now I'm gonna put the fade on, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Here's the fade for the piano. It fades just fine. And if you since it ends early here, I'm going to push this over so you can see the fade a little bit better. So I'm going to it be more dramatic. Very gradual fade. Of course, you can make it either less dramatic or much more dramatic with this little center here on the on the fade. Okay, so I just want it normal, something like that. It'll be fine. Okay. Now, once again, when I want to um, do the the uh, the voice at the same spot, here's the voice by itself. <laughs> We pledge our lives together. Okay. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be in these sacred vowels, but hey, that's why I'm fading it out. Okay, so I'm clicking through here and I want to say the same thing. A nice, uh, let's make it even more dramatic. Hear in this sacred vows. Okay, so. 
as you see, nothing's happening here. Okay, let me undo that just in case. Okay, right. so let me push this over. Nothing's happening. Okay, so I'm lining these two these two up here. So why? Why do you think that's happening? Well, well, I found out after much frustration that it was happening because underneath here, as you can see, I have. I have Melodyne working here, okay? And because when I first recorded this on Melodyne, since I first recorded this, this sacred since it's first recorded like this, it's recorded at full, at full um, power here, okay? At full volume. I keep wanting to say full power for some reason, okay? So... Um, let's let's zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna try again, but this time I'm gonna retrack it. I'm gonna retrack Melodyne, but with the with the uh, the fade out. So in other words, if you want to use a fade out and you're using Melodyne, you have to do the fade out first such as this and make sure I have it at the right spot just like this and then you start tracking okay so let's start tracking from here Okay, so now, there we go. Everything should be fine now. So let's try it again. Now, and let me make sure that I uh, have everything the way I like it, though. Let me do that first. Now I'm going to go over Melodyne much later, um, but basically I'm going to just make sure that everything is perfect the way I like it. Okay, so now once again, here's the fall. Let's go a little bit closer here. It's here in this sacred there you go. Uh, and there's that end ending part there. So we're going to go over here and we're just going to delete the rest of this because we don't need any of that. So to delete it, we're just going to say right click here and say delete. There you go. So that's how you do fade out and having Melodyne, okay? Now with the piano. Well, I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. Subscribe, and I'll have some more updates with Melodyne, with uh, Ableton, with Logic, anything you, you'd like. Okay, thank you very much.